We're here with head men's basketball coach, Matt Fletcher. Coach, looking back on the conference season, as a team and individually, you eclipsed a ton of milestones at Bethany and have just recently had a large number of players named to all conference teams. Explain the feeling of getting to see all your guys get recognition for the hard work they've put in. It's always good, you know, a lot of the stuff we've been having lately has been team success, conference tournament, and uh, regular season championship and things like that. So it's been team focus, and this is good to really point out those guys that have put in a lot of hard work over their career to um, achieve these milestones for themselves. So it's good to always see guys succeed and um, get the recognition that they have worked so hard to get. Coach, as only a second year head coach, um, usually you talk about the team, but what does it mean to you to be voted on by your peers as the UMAC coach of the year? You know, it's it's a cool feeling, uh, but it's it's credit to the guys. You know, the every coach that wins coach of the year has good players and guys that have bought into their system. So, you know, to have the leaders that we've had and, and the players come through here these two years to set me up to have success like we've had and then plus to have teams that have bought into the new system in my style it's been a blessing to be here and a blessing to have these type of guys around me to make this such an easy transition and um, you know credit to those guys and everything my staff especially you know having those guys do all the dirty work behind the scenes that nobody knows and um, it's been it's been cool to have s such a great surrounding support cast to uh, get this done and uh, it's a cool milestone. You're now looking ahead to a really tough St. John's team, ranked number seven in the country. What does it mean for you guys have went to battle with teams like Nebraska Wesleyan and St. Olaf, who are also in the tournament, and you guys have played it close with them? You know, we always preach it doesn't really matter who we play. we got to play our style and play our one way. And, you know, St. John's is obviously going to be an extremely talented, big athletic team. We're going to have to make sure that we, we bring it. We're going to have to be prepped. We're going to have to be locked in mentally. We're going to have to make some shots, and we're going to have to make sure that we're on the on the same page as a team and as a staff. Um, going into a hostile environment like that, they're going to have some crazy, crazy fans, and it's going to be intense, and it's going to be loud, but it's going to be a fun environment and fun for our guys to go out and compete at such a high level against such a really, really good team and program.